Hi guys! Welcome back to my channel. Uh, it's been a really long time since last time I sat down to film. Um, or at least since I updated or uploaded. I have been filming a little bit, uh, but I haven't had time to up, uh, upload or like edit anything. Uh, and my real excuse is I've been really busy with school and work and... Well, I guess you guys can figure out how much time that can take sometimes. Um, but I'm here today with a exciting video, or at least it's exciting for me. <laughs> um, if you're interested in any other life updates, uh, I will write some like main things in the description box. Um, but I think we should just jump into this video. So, uh, this weekend, this past weekend, I went to a girls trip to Stockholm uh, with two of my best friends. And I did not come home empty handed. So. We went into the Louis Vuitton shop on Baker Jarlsgatan in Stockholm and I came out with this bag. So a little bit of a life update <laughs> so you just get the context about it. Um, I have recently graduated my bachelor's and I've done half my master's and now I have applied to do a PhD which I hopefully get back to next week or a week after that and I really have my fingers crossed that I will get that. Um, so this is actually my graduation present for myself. Um, so yeah, let's see. So uh, in this beautiful bag we have this equally beautiful box. Uh, I haven't opened this yet because I want to do it in front of you guys. So other things in the bag are of course this little envelope which you get with the receipt. And I also got some perfume samples. These smell amazing by the way. Like, if they weren't that expensive <laughs> I would have bought it right away. Uh, I think though that I will buy it in the future because uh, I really do like it, um, but not right now. Um, but yeah, so shall, shall we do this unboxing? So this is my first ever purchase on Louis Vuitton. It is my first purchase ever on a like higher brands at all. Like my last, my most expensive bag, because it's a bag. <laughs> can't see the size. Um, before this is my Michael Kors bag that I got at the Apple store um, with the co collaboration they had like in 2013 I think. So yeah it's a it's a big update. So let's let's get dig into this. So I, I wish I don't have to unwrap this but I think I do have to right can I just do this? Do that. Okay, so we're sliding out the ribbon. And when I open this, we get the dust bag. So let's take that out. I'm just going to drop this to the floor. Okay. So here we got the um, cotton dust bag with Louis Vuitton on it. And inside this, we've got a Pochet Matisse. This is the black leather one. I can't pronounce the type of the leather. Uh, I will write it here on the screen for you. Um, but yeah, so it's not the canvas one. The one that I've looked at is, or the one that I've been looking at, is the one in reversed monogram. But since I think it's quite popular at the moment, it's hard to get by. And where I live, I, I live in the north of Sweden, we don't have a Louis Vuitton store here. We only have one Louis Vuitton store in all of Sweden. So it's not like I can just go in there every morning and see if they got one. So, But this was definitely on my wish list. So I'm really, really excited to have it. Uh, it's so it's a really nice one. I will give you a more of a up close look in the end. 
um, but it looks really nice. Um, so let's open it up. I guess you've seen this before, or maybe you've mostly have seen the the canvas one and monogram or reverse monogram. So it of course comes with uh, the leather strap, which is probably what I'm gonna wear it with. Uh, she showed me in the in the store that is really nice. I mean, it is really nice to carry it around like like this. Um, but I think I'm more of a hands-free kind of girl, so I think I will wear it with a strap uh, mostly. So let's put the strap in the box. So you can see on the inside here is the leather again, and it has three compartments, two big ones, one, two, and then one uh, slim one here in the back. It also has a zipper pocket in the back of the bag. Yeah. As she explained to me in the store, it's good for your like things you need to have available, like a bus card or uh, print tickets or whatever. So yeah, this one is made in France. I think they have different places of origin because these are since they're hand handmade. I think they have different factories. I'm not gonna promise you on this, but I think they have different countries of origin. Uh, but this particular one is made in France. Uh, inside the bag here, in the back pocket, I have like tags and stuff. Let's see. Uh, okay, it's Kohide leather, man-made interior linen, it says, or Cuir de Vachette de Bois Synthetique. I'm sorry for butchering your languages. Uh, so yeah, a little code here, I guess. I was going to see the price tag, but not really though. Okay, so it's monogram imprint. Imprint, perhaps is the is the leather type. Uh, so it's a little brochure. Um, well, this is French. Uh, I just had test, it tells me a little bit of how it's going to age, uh, what's special, special about it, and like how to care for it. Um, so, yeah, I'm super excited. I think this will be like the. I think the Push It Matisse are like the perfect sized bag for like an everyday use and, and I guess that's why it's so popular at least at the, uh, in the recent years uh, and I think I will get a lot a lot of use of it so let's have some some close looks on it so you get to see it a little more up close so yeah some detailing I'm sorry I need to hand hold this camera for this and I don't have a automatic um, or focus so I will have to do this uh, manually and I'm sorry sorry for that uh, but yeah here you can see the um, the front of the bag and I guess you don't really see the gold hardware that well unfortunately no I don't think you will um, but it has gold hardware and if I flip it over can see it's one piece of leather so the monogram is upside down on the back side here's a little better shot of the gold hardware see it says LV up top there and it says Louis Vuitton Paris down the side there I don't know if you are able to see this but this is the top handle and it is also says Louis Vuitton Paris. Very weak. I don't know if you can see this. Um, but yeah, it's imprinted in, in the top handle as well. And here is the back pocket. And you can see on the zipper it says Louis Vuitton as well. And otherwise it's just a regular uh, golden zipper uh, for the pocket there. And if I open it you can see it's the same 
uh, canvas lining as on the inside of the bag. Uh, each of these claps, clasps <laughs> on the strap also has uh, Louis Vuitton written on them. And it's a very nice strap. I lost focus again. There we go, I think. So yeah, both sides. And then we just have a regular, I guess, buckle belt, but not belt, buckle. <laughs> okay, so here we have a little nicer look on the down or the bottom of the bag. And as you can see, it's a very nice one. It doesn't have any of the dents or anything in it. So it's a very, very nice one. And I'm, I'm so pleased. You have no idea how pleased I am for this bag. So yeah, that was my very first unboxing and definitely the first luxury unboxing. And I hope you liked it. And I found it interesting. If you have any questions about this bag uh, or anything in general, <laughs> just write in the comments and I'll try to get back to you. And if you like this kind of videos or if you feel interested in me, so please subscribe, like the video and just have a wonderful, wonderful day. Mwah. Love you guys. Bye!